getting ready, and then we'll start in just a minute here. Gotta make sure I've got all my stuff. I think I do. Mm -hmm. Got that down there. All right, good to see everybody joining us. What a beautiful day to read stories about weather. We have great weather going on right now. I'm just looking out the window out here. I see sun and blue sky. How's the weather at your house? Is it sunny too? Is it? Yeah? Well, good. Glad to hear it. Good morning, Theo. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad that all of you are here with me today. We're going to get started in about less than one minute. Just give a couple more people a chance to join us and then we will get started with our story time today. <laughs> we were just looking outside to see what the weather is like because it's a story time all about weather. You might see I've already even got some clouds up on my board there. All right, you know what? I'm looking at the clock. I think it's 10 o'clock. Should we get started? All right, you ready? Good morning, everybody. Hello, hi. Welcome to Streaming Storytime. My name's Elizabeth, and I'm coming to you today from Loudoun District Library. Really glad that you are joining us here today. And today we have stories, songs, and even a craft at the very end, all about weather. Hmm. Now, let's get started first, though, by clapping our hands. Do you have your hands ready? You ready to clap them? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello to all our friends at story time. We clap and say hello. Yay! Great job. All right, can you stamp your feet? We stamp and say hello. We stamp and say hello to all our friends at story time. We stamp and say hello. Yay! All right, last one, I'm gonna wave. Can you wave? Hi, everybody, hello. We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello to all our friends at story time. We wave and say hello, hi. I am so glad that you're here today. You know what else I have here today? Oh, my puppet bag. So as always, there's a puppet animal in this bag and we get to guess what it is. Usually it's an animal that we're going to see later on in one of our stories. Now, let's start with a good clue. Oh, do you see this letter? This is the letter that our animal in the puppet bag today starts with. What is it? Yeah, it's a letter B. That's right. I think we just did B the other day, but this is a different animal that starts with B. Hmm. So it starts with a b, b, b sound. And let's see what other clues I can find for you. Ooh, this animal is an insect. It's an insect that flies around, and you might see it flying around your flowers. Hmm. Now, if you're thinking, Bee, like a bumblebee, that's a very good guess because that is an insect. Starts with B. What? Hmm? Not a bee. Can you think of another one? Let's see, this one's orange and black. Oh, what do you think that is? Let's see if I can get a good shot for you. Oh, there we go. It's a butterfly. That's right. Now, can you sing the ABC song with my butterfly? You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! I can even clap a little. Yay! And we'll fly our butterfly over here till we see a butterfly in our first story. So keep an eye out. See if you see that butterfly. Now, 
our stories today are all about weather. And we have a beautiful sunny day today. But look in my story. Is it sunny? No, -uh, I see a dark gray cloud. This story is called Mushroom in the Rain. Uh oh, should we add some raindrops? There we go. Mushroom in the Rain. This story is by Mira Ginsburg. I think it's an old story, but she wrote the book that we're telling it from today. Once upon a time, there was a little ant. See him right there, his little googly eyes? And he was out walking around one day when it started to rain. It rained harder and harder, and the ant ran around looking for a place to stay dry. He spotted a mushroom, and he ran right underneath. Oh, see him there? He ran right underneath to stay dry. It was like a little umbrella for him, but it was very small, only room for one ant. He waited for the rain to stop, but guess what? The rain just fell down harder and harder and harder. While he waited, look who flew up. It's our butterfly. Yeah, a butterfly flew up and said, oh, ant, I'm getting soaked. Please let me come inside and hide out under your mushroom with you. Oh, it's too small, said ant. There's not room. There's barely room for me under here. It'd be too crowded. Well, said Butterfly, better crowded than wet. And Ant agreed. He moved over and he let Butterfly join him under the mushroom. They waited for the rain to stop, but it rained harder and harder. Can you make the rain go? Yeah, it rained harder and harder. Let's see. More rain came down. And guess what happened as the rain came down? to the mushroom. It grew a little bit bigger, right? Now, the two insects were underneath the mushroom when who should come scurrying up? <gasps> squeak, 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 squeak. But a little mouse. <gasps> let me in. I'm all soaked. Please let me under your mushroom. <gasps> oh, there was barely room for two of us, said Ant and Butterfly. There's no way we could fit a mouse under here, too. Please, just try, scoot over. So they scooted over, and what do you know? The mouse fit under there too. So all the friends waited and waited for the rain to stop, but guess what? Can you make the rain pour down? The rain kept coming down. More and more rain, and guess what? No more room, I think. Well, as they waited for the rain to stop, a bird flew by. And Bird said, oh, friends, please let me underneath the mushroom. My feathers are getting wet. It's getting hard to fly. But the animal said, oh, there was barely room for three of us. I don't think we could fit a fourth. Oh, please try, said the bird. Just scoot over, I don't take up much room. So they decided to make room for the bird. They squeezed together and bird fit right underneath that mushroom. Huh, who would have thought? And they waited for the rain to stop. But what did the rain do? Right, the rain kept coming down. Now, pretty soon, a very scared looking bunny came hopping along. Help me, help me, help me, he said. A fox is chasing me and trying to eat me. Please let me hide with you under the mushroom. The animals looked around. It was really crowded, but they said, poor rabbit, let's help him. So they scooted to the side and they let rabbit come hide, Whoop, just like that, right under that mushroom. Whew, that was a close one because look, who came up next? Oh, a hungry fox came up and he was looking and he was sniffing to try to find that rabbit. He came up to the mushroom and he said, I'm looking for a rabbit. 
which way did he go? And the animal said, what rabbit? I haven't seen any rabbit anywhere. And the fox said, no, I smell a rabbit. I know he's in there. And the animal said, you silly fox, how could a rabbit sit under this tiny mushroom with all of these other animals? That's crazy. And the fox said, hmm, yeah, you got a point. That is way too small of a mushroom for to fit my rabbit. I'll keep looking. And off he went, sniffing around to find that rabbit. Well, guess what? Just then, the rain stopped. Take off all of our raindrops. The rain stopped. And guess what came out from behind the cloud? Whoop. Oh, the sun came out. All the animals were so happy. They came out from under the mushroom to enjoy the sunshine. The bird and the butterfly and the mouse and the rabbit and even the tiny little ant. They looked around and thought, oh my goodness, there were one, two, three, four, five of us under that tiny mushroom? How is that possible? Aunt said, when I went under there, there was only room for me. What happened? Just then, they heard somebody sitting on top of the mushroom going, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. He sounded like he was laughing. And Frog said, don't you know what happens to a mushroom in the rain? That's right, it grows. And it made room for everyone Plenty of room to share. The end. Yay! Great listening, everybody. I like that story. There was room for everybody. They just had to share. And the mushroom even got bigger. What a cool story. Look at all my mushrooms. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> now, that makes me think of another song about the rain. And we've done this one before. It's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Mm -hmm. It's a great rain song. So you can make your little spider however you want to make him, but we're going to make him go up the water spout and then whoosh, we'll do our rain again and make him come down. You ready? Get your spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Now, I always like to do an itsy bitsy spider, but also a great big giant spider. All right, how big can you make your spider? Whoa, yeah, it's a big spider. Can you make him climb? Can you sing in your great big spider voice? All right, ready? The great big giant spider went up the water spout. Lots of rain, ready? Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big giant spider went up the spout again. Whoa, nice. That was a very large spider. Okay, what about the teeny tiny spider? How small can you make him? Oh my goodness. I can barely see him. The teeny tiny spider went up the water spout. Ready for a little bit of rain? Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny spider went up the spout again. Yay! Great job, everybody. Those were some teeny tiny spiders. Now, I have a story for you next. It's a very, very silly one. It's by Jan Thomas, who writes some of the silliest books, I think. Now, you can tell this book's silly because what does Pig have on his head? A rain boot? What? This story is called, Is That Wise, Pig? Is that a good idea? I don't know. And look at the back. There's also a mouse and a cow in this story. And Mouse says, Pig wouldn't do anything unwise, would he? Oh no. Let's see. Pig wouldn't do anything unwise, I'm sure of it. I'm sure. Who wants to help me make soup? Says Mouse. I do. All right, let's see what they put in. Here is, whoop, one onion, and here are 
two cabbages. And here, says Pig, are, uh-oh, what's Pig gonna put in? Three umbrellas. What? Three umbrellas in the soup? Do you guys want umbrellas in your soup? Whoa, no way. Is that wise, Pig? Is that a good idea? Hmm, Pig says, oh, oh, I guess not. Oops. Um, so, back to cooking. Now we have four tomatoes and five potatoes. And, says Pig, here are, it's going to be silly, six galoshes. What? Six rain boots. Six galoshes in the soup? Is that wise, Pig? What do you guys think? Good idea? No, yuck! Oh, says Pig. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. Hmm. Oh, all right, back to the recipe. Here are seven green beans, and here are eight Brussels sprouts. Hmm, those sound pretty good, but what's Pig got? And here are, oh, is it gonna be silly? Oh, nine carrots! Yes, says Mouse. Pretty wise, huh? That is, that is pretty wise. And, says Pig, he's got something else, too. What comes after nine? What number? Hmm. I asked ten hungry friends to join us. And they say, soup, 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 soup. <gasps> Was that wise, Pig? Was that wise? Uh-oh, better use these. They're getting out their umbrellas and their galoshes, and here come the pigs. Soup, 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 soup. Splash! Oh, hey, those umbrellas and those galoshes were pretty wise, pig. See how they're using them? So they don't get splashed by soup? Thanks, cow, says pig. Oh, that was pretty wise. Oh, but there's just one thing missing. Really? What's that, pig? What do you think's missing? Salt and pepper? Hmm? Hmm, maybe. Oh no, you know what it is? Me! Here I come! Soup, 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 soup! And pig jumps in with a splash! Uh-oh, over here. Mouse says, should we order pizza? Pizza, says Cal. They're not going in that soup. And that's the end. Yay! Great job. Oh, I love that book. It's so silly. What a silly, silly book. Now, I have a story for you. It's an old story called It Looked Like Spilt Milk. Hmm. Have you ever spilled milk? Did it look something like this? Splat. This book is by Charles Shaw, and I'm going to tell it with my felt pictures here. And you can see if you can guess what you think these things look like. Like, I would say this kind of looks like spilt milk. Now, sometimes it looks like spilt milk. But guess what? It wasn't spilt milk. Hmm. It's kind of a mystery. Now, sometimes it looks like this. What do you think that is? Maybe. A tree? Sometimes it looks like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Hmm. Sometimes, oh yum. Sometimes it looked like, what's that look like? Something that'd be good to eat in the summer? Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Hmm. Now sometimes, oh, that looks like something that was in our story. Sometimes it looks like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like, what do you think about that one? Something you wear on your hand in the winter. Sometimes it looks like a mitten, 
but it wasn't a mitten. What do you think? Ooh, this is kind of a different one. What do you think that one looks like to you? Hmm. I could think of some different things. Sometimes it looks like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Hmm. Now, sometimes it looks like this. Bah, bah. Sometimes it looks like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. What is this thing? It can look like all these different things. Hmm. Oh, this is a fun one. Sometimes it looked like, what do you think? If you blew the candle out? Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes, Who's this? Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. I don't know, that looks an awful lot like a squirrel to me. Hmm. But it wasn't, it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like, oink, 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 oink. So it kind of looked like a pig? I can see it. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. And sometimes, Ooh, ooh, ooh. What on earth is that? Sometimes it looked like a great horned owl. But, no, it wasn't a great horned owl. It wasn't any of those things. It could look like so many, even an upside down pig. It could look like so many different things. It was white. It was fluffy. It changed shape. What do you think it was? Have you guessed it? Sometimes it looked like spilled milk. Hmm. But it wasn't spilled milk. You know what it was? It was, what would you see up in the sky? It was just a cloud in the sky. Yay! Have you ever gone outside and looked up at the sky and thought, you know, that cloud kind of looks like a birthday cake. Or it kind of looks like a squirrel. Yeah. Clouds change shape all the time, and you might be able to go out and use your imagination and see if you see one. It looks like a great horned owl. It could happen. So maybe next time you're outside and there's lots of clouds, you can see if you see any that look like spilled milk or anything else cool. And that's the end of that story. Yay! Good job! Now, I have one more song for you today. This song... I was thinking about because we were reading so much about the weather and it is a beautiful sunny day out today and this song I have it in a book called may there always be sunshine this is an old folk song but Jim Gill who has a lot of cool kids music made a book about it as well so I'm gonna sing it to you and then I'll show you something cool we can do with it all right Ooh, that's a good sunny picture I'll show you the pictures while we sing it you ready May there always be sunshine. Ooh, this looks like today. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be me. So that's how the old song goes. Now, but Jim Gill got creative with it, and he started thinking, what are other things he really likes? things he wants there to always be. And he asked kids too. So maybe, let's start thinking as we read the rest of the book, is there anything that you really, really, really like? Like sunshine, blue skies, macaroni and cheese, things that you really like. If you want to tell me, if you want to have somebody type it in, we can add it to our song. Otherwise, I have so many things that I like, I can put them in my song too. Let's see what the author of this book likes. He added these. May there always be colors. Ooh, I like colors. May there always be grapes. Mmm. This is funny. May there always be teeth. Let's see your teeth. Uh, teeth are important. May there always be fish. Oh yeah, we need fish. May there always be pancakes. May there always be books. 
May there always be blankets. Mmm, would you like my blankets? May there always be dads. May there always be farmers. May there always be hats. May there always be dancing. May there always be rain. Oh yeah. Gotta have rain too, huh? All the kinds of weather are important. Ooh, big tall buildings. May there always be skyscrapers. May there always be fiddles. Yeah, fiddle music's cool. May there always be birthdays. May there always be us. Yay! The end. Now, so my favorite thing to do with that book, because that is a lot of cool things, and I can think of even more things that I really like. So I sometimes like to do a little writing, and I'm going to do some here with you. So, oh, got my big piece of paper. I've got my clip. I'm going to clip that right on there. Boom. And I'm going to think of other things that I really like that I hope there will always be. Hmm. So let's see. Oh, well, you know, speaking of weather, I do like blue skies and sunshine and rain. You know what else I like? I like snow. I'm going to write snow on there. We got to get all the weathers, right? S N O W. All right, snow. Hmm, what else do I like? Can you think of anything that you like? You could write your own song, or you could type it in and I could add it to my song. How about, you know what I just did that I love to do? Hiking. I love to be outside. Let's write hiking. H I K I N G. Hiking. What about, do you have a favorite food? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what food I really like? Oh, ice cream. Yes. All right. That's a good one. I also really like ice cream. All right, Theo, we're going to put it on here. Ice cream. Yes, that's even better. And oh, E.T., the extraterrestrial. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, here we go. E.T. dot, dot, dot. That's the extraterrestrial. Hmm. Now, that's pretty good. I think that might be enough to do another verse of our song. Should we try it out? And if you think of more, you can keep typing them because we can keep going. All right. Let's try it. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be me. Okay, here comes our part. May there always be snow. May there always be hiking. May there always be ice cream. Yeah. May there always be E.T. the extraterrestrial. Woo! What about, oh, I see another suggestion. May there always be creeks. May there always be, what else do we like? Friends. May there always be, hmm, what else do I like to do? Laughing. May there always be story time. Yay! Great job helping me write a new song. I'm so excited. And that's something where maybe you could even make a list of your own and keep singing that song. I like to do that sometimes because there are so many things that I like or that I'm thankful for. And one of those is being able to do story time with you guys. Now, before we end today, I want to tell you about our take and make this week. Beaches, yes, absolutely. May there always be beaches. Mm -hmm. Those are so fun, especially in the summer. Now, for our take and make this week, remember, each week we have a new one of these out. We'll have our new one out Monday at uh, 10 o'clock in our parking garage. That's the word I'm looking for. In our parking garage, and they're just grab and go, um, self-serve. So this week, we're going to be doing sun catchers. 
since we read about the weather today and we have some beautiful sunny days. So in our bags this week, we will have some paper, some sticky contact paper. Let me show you. Mm. See, this is sticky. Ooh. See that? So you'll be able to stick your contact paper on your black frame and then inside the bag, we have ooh, lots of little pieces of tissue paper. The cool thing about tissue paper is it's kind of see-through. So when you stick it right on your sticky paper like this, it sticks right on there and you can kind of see through it. See that? And when you hang it in the window, the sunlight will shine through it and look really, really, really beautiful. So if you would like to make one of those, Starting Monday, we'll have those. Um, while supplies last, but we generally have quite a few, and they'll be available in our parking garage. So hopefully you can make one of those. And that is a good one for all ages, because even the littlest ones can stick those pieces of tissue paper on that sticky contact paper. All right, everybody. I think we have read all of our books, sung all of our songs, and it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. We'll be back next week at 10 on Friday. And until then, should we say goodbye to our friends? All right, can you wave? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm glad you came to play. Bye, everybody. Have a great day and enjoy that sunshine. I'll see you later.